Welcome to Small Steps. My name is Seth Potts and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on field settings and pivot tables. When using pivot tables and you pull data in, a lot of times the format of the numbers that you're using uh, is preset to a sum. Um, a lot of times I, I don't want this. In fact, most of the time I don't want these numbers summed. What I typically want is a count. Uh, it does this with number fields in particular, but even if you have another field, uh, different type of information and you want to change the format of it, the place to do that is going to be in the value field settings. Now there are three locations to pull this field up. Um, one is by right clicking um, in that field itself and come down here and you can see value field settings there. Uh, second location is in the pivot table fields themselves. If you uh, just left click on what you have in the values, uh, the options pull up and it's the very bottom one there. And then one more place you can find it is up on your ribbon under the pivot table analyze tab um, the far left over here is the last field settings button so uh, we're going to look at the same data that we've been using previously which is CAD data um, for this example I'm, I'm using the call type and uh, what I want is the count of each type of call um, now typically uh, I'm doing the date of event it's not going to pull this summed automatically but it's just to show what it kind of looks like a lot of times when you are using the numbers I have it started off in this sum format. Um, when I'm checking this information, I say this right here is not useful to me. I'm not. Um, I have no idea what these numbers are even summing with it with the date of event. But um, when you get these sum numbers or large numbers you don't want to use. You're going to go in uh, to that f value field settings, and uh, see it has down here on this main tab that pulls up. It has all the different types of calculations you can use uh, to summarize that data. Uh, for the most part, I, I typically stick to the uh, count, um, depending on what it is. If you have uh, other numbers, you can use average or sum. Um, I think a lot of the other, you're going to get into more accounting type of stuff for a lot of these, but um, there's quite a few options here, um, all the way to standard deviation, um, and the product. I know sometimes I see people asking questions about um, how you could do that. Uh, but for, for the most part, what I'll use is this count. So let's say if it starts out in this sum, you can always come in here and click a straight to count and click OK, and that's better. That's what we're looking for is just a count of those individual events. Um, Going back into that menu there, uh, one other thing you can see is that this automatically has this kind of longer title count of date of event. Um, if you're especially cleaning this up to pass off to somebody else, you probably clean that title up. So um, we'll do count of CAD call. I'll uh, we'll do type there. All right, so you put whatever title you want in there, click enter, and you see the title's changed up here. So going back into the value field settings, you'll notice this button down here, uh, number format. This should look familiar on your typical home screen. This is the, the same category you get when you're wanting to change the format in uh, different columns or uh, rows like that. So it should look familiar. General um, is what it typically defaults to, but you could do it with number, um, with add decimal places, uh, date, time, anything like that, all the way down to custom and customize what you want that to look like. So that is an option on here as well. Uh, one last thing I'll show you is this show values as tab. Um, to get a better idea of how some of these things work, we're going to go ahead and add another category to the columns just to spread this out. So now we have these CAD call types and then we have it broken down by the different shifts, days, eves, and mids, and then a grand total. So going back into that field uh, settings there and the show values as tab, it defaults to no calculation. And most of the time that is just fine for, for what I'm looking for, but um, it does add a little more versatility to, to information you can pull for that. So now we have the basic numbers and, and some of these are small enough, they're easy, easy to look at and see where most of these are coming, but especially if there's larger numbers, um, uh, one of the ones on here is a uh, percentage of the row total. So if you had more categories and you want to see, so like in this, we want to see what uh, what the percentage of these call types taken. So I'll click on that percentage of row total, click OK, and you see it's, it's changes over to the percentages. So like accents, that was our largest one. You can see uh, we don't have a whole lot of accents um, on midnights. In fact, half of them uh, come during our day shift. So you can uh, break things down in different ways, just looking at the other options in this field. Um, 
there's uh, the percentage of, of column, the grand total. Uh, yeah, there's parent rows. So if you get more complex um, breakdowns on these, there's some options that, that give you some even more um, in-depth uh, percentages from the parent rows and columns, things like that. Differences, um, another one I, I use from time to time is a running total. So if you have um, something I mean, in, in an order and you just kind of want to see the running total as it goes, you can do that here just for the uh, total number there or the percentage. So um, these just add some extra options for ways you can present your data and split it up instead of just a basic count or like I said the original problem we come up with is is it automatically putting this in a format for summing the number which you don't necessarily need most of the time so um, if you ever have formatting issues the easiest place to turn is that field settings uh, button there in those three locations if you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more click like and subscribe Next video coming up in the pivot table series is pivot table options.